one's too old. And check what I got. Wait for it. There you go. No, not a throwaway joke. I got myself a trident. <laughs> and what's better than one trident? Yes, that's right, five is. But you're gonna have to make do with three because that's how much I got. Well, that's how, blah, 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 that's how much more I got. Yay! Party, 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 party. Yeah, so here's a little montage of me collecting all those tridents. And, oh man, this, this really took like hours to collect and I'm just glad it's over now and thankfully now I've got some space so I won't need to worry about a trident for quite a while now and uh, as you can see I've still got a lot of rotten flesh and I got uh, some gold out of the deal so that's cool one other thing to point out is that I actually redesigned this thing because trying to slash at them, uh, going back and forth wasn't really doing it for me. So I sort of like lowered it down until I got this much more compact design. Now I know what you're thinking, but Eugene, aren't you going to enchant your tridents? Yes. Yes, I am. Unfortunately, I got some business to take care of. Mainly this, and that, and this. I am, of course, referring to the clerics here. Yeah, I don't like them near my base, and I don't want them anywhere near here ever again. Because... I want to put them in the nether. Well, uh, that was a seamless transition. Anyway, uh, I think you guys may have already noticed something very, very, very suspicious, yeah? That is that it's too loud! Oh yeah, my pickling just disappeared. Huh. Uh, yeah, so what I had in mind was that because getting a whole bunch of rotten flesh every time when these things get filled up I have to quickly get one of my shulkers which is already full as it is and then I have to go all the way down to my base to where my clerics are and it's just too much of a hassle so I figure okay I'm gonna bring the clerics at my base and I'm gonna put them right over here. I'm gonna build a little platform out and hopefully this will make getting emeralds a lot easier. Alright, let's get to it. Yeah, so after this point I decided to record and decided to fill in commentary in post-production. Uh, I figured I'd give it a try and see how things go. And I got right on to getting chorus fruit. And the reason for this is because I'm looking to get some popped chorus fruit so I can make some purple blocks for my next build that I plan to do. As you can see, it wasn't all smooth sailing. I did have problems with an enderman, but everything turned out alright. So I went to go and smelt the porous fruit out and then I realized that my iron farm is missing a zombie. Angry. So I figured problem for another time. So I just put the chorus fruit in the smelter and let it run. And if luck would have it, a zombie fell into the iron pit. And I figured I'd take this opportunity to tag him. Then an iron golem came and spoiled my fun. And I was determined to get another zombie so I prepared myself this time. And lo and behold, a zombie appeared. And I even managed to tag him. Yeah, and things were actually going very well. 
Then a baby zombie managed to come and almost stole my phone again. And then I actually managed to get this guy up top of the platform. But unfortunately this guy became smart. So that didn't work. But at this stage I was determined to get my iron farm working again and nothing was going to stop me now. So I went flying around trying to spot any zombie that was in the facility and then all of a sudden this happened. A literal zombie invasion happened before my eyes. Now this was a bit more than I bargained for and I had to fight these guys off very, very cautiously. Because I literally found myself in very hairy situations as you can see right here and oh this one, this one is just really really nerve wracking whenever I see it. Anyway I did manage to thin the herd a bit and I had my eye on the one with the gold armor here because I figured if it becomes sunlight he wouldn't burn up like the rest. So I tried to lead him up the platform here, but then he got stuck. Eventually I had to go down there and entice him to follow me. Thankfully he managed to do that and it, was pre it worked out pretty well. As you can see he fell in pretty nicely and all things considered, that was pretty easy. And then after I put that guy in, destroyed all the unnecessary blocks, the iron farm started working again. Then I happened to come across another zombie in gold armor and I figured I'd take the opportunity to try and trap him and keep him as a spare. Unfortunately, unlike the other one, this one was being stubborn. And as you can see, it was actually, he wasn't actually helping me in the slightest. But eventually, I succeeded. As you can see right here, I managed to trick him into the little cage and managed to trap him. After that, I figured, uh, since I don't like my bartering farm being pickling-less, if that's even a word, I decided to work on that now. Next up, I decided to get started on the project I wanted to do from the very start. So I started to build out a little platform here. And I decided to go all purple blocks because I figured it looks pretty nice. And eventually, once I mapped out where my platform was going to go, I decided to speed things up. After that I decided it was best time to work on the pillars, but unfortunately there was a problem. The pillar on the left was going to interfere with the redstone of the storage. So in order to fix this problem I've decided to move the platform back just three blocks. I think that's all I really needed. And as you can see right here I had to put on my thinking cap count with my fingers and figure out the measurements differently but it wasn't too bad and it wasn't too hard so I actually managed to do it okay. Next up I wanted to design the little cages where the clerics were gonna go so I got right onto that 
and I even thought about maybe even incorporating a little crimson stem here. So the design I went with was this one and instead of using crimson stem I've decided to use strip crimson stem instead and uh, I think it looks better because it's a darker shade of purple and it just matches the build great. Once I had finished one side, I thought I'd decorate this place, give it some vegetation maybe, so I added some plants and a little shelf here and make it look neat. Then I decided to work on the back because it just looks tacky, I mean believe me it really does. Then once I was done with the back, I figured it was about time to work on the other side. And now it was time to build the nether portal and I figured let's make it look nice so I decided to add a touch of crying obsidian to it. Then it was time to put in the obsidian which uh, wasn't really too hard I just had to follow the same pattern as the crying obsidian. Unfortunately, I wanted to be a cheapskate with the crying obsidian and I sort of left the corners at the bottom out. So I decided to rectify that. And there's not much else to say here. It's just me building a nether portal. Uh, I'm actually just trying to pad this out because, yeah, I don't know why I did this. But I did decide to go with a crying obsidian background so that we don't fall off that's a thing anyway once I was done with that I decided to light the portal and to actually see where it took me and it actually spawned me in a flame spot which was pretty neat however what made this fantastic was that it actually spawned near a village because I was actually going to go right to my base, grab a bunch of clerics and drag them all the way here. But since there's a village here, I could have just grabbed these guys instead and then changed them into clerics and then put them in the cages from this village. I hope that made sense. So I got straight to work trying to transport these guys to the nether and it was a task and a half and it took me hours to complete this. In fact, I'm actually glad that I actually decided to add in the voiceover post-production because this actually proved to be truly, truly, truly time-consuming. And while I was trying to transport all the villagers, I decided to work on the roof of the build. And I decided to use purple stairs, you know, sticking with the whole color scheme and that. And I think it just gets better from here on out. There we go, another one bites the dust. Uh, I actually forgot to 
work on the roof on the sus. And that makes three. And here comes number four. Now here is where things got a little out of hand. I th figured there was uh, enough villages there, but there actually wasn't. So I had to start building myself uh, a village breeder right near my portal. That's number five. That's number six. That's the number seven. That's number eight. That's number nine. And that's number eleven. All done. Time lapse. <laughs> And there you have it, my trading hall is done. Tell me what you think. I gotta go now, sorry for the abrupt ending, but goodbye!